This video is going to give you an overview of Smart Builders, a new feature in Smart Docs 2.1. Smart Builders allow you to design and embed customized wizards inside of your Microsoft Word templates. So as writers create new documents off of these templates, they can use these wizards to help them quickly assemble new documentation. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can use a Smart Builder in the Sales Proposal template to help us streamline the assembly of new sales proposals. To create a new Smart Builder inside of a Word template, we click on the Edit Smart Builder option. We give the Smart Builder a name. We tell Smart Docs if we want the Smart Builder to automatically run when new documents are created from the template. And we click the Finish button to create the Smart Builder. Smart Docs will then open up the Edit Smart Builder screen. And this is where you can define both the user interface for your Smart Builder and then the series of actions that will be taken once the Smart Builder is executed. So I'm going to go ahead and define a user interface for the Smart Builder. And what I want to do is I want to add three pages to our wizard. The first page is going to be used to collect information about the sales proposal, such as the client's name. And the second and third pages in the wizard are going to be used to collect information such as what client references do we want to include and what staff profiles do we want to include inside of our sales proposal. So we can use the page option from the new menu to quickly create each of these three new pages in our Smart Builder wizard. Now that the pages in our wizard are set up, I'm going to go ahead and start to add some text boxes to the first page in our wizard to collect some general proposal information such as the name of the client, the proposal name, the proposal number, and the recipient information. On our client references and staff profile screens, I want to allow our writers to select from a predefined list of reusable snippets. We can do that by adding a reusable snippet picker control to each of these screens. Once we have finished defining our user interface, we can preview what our user interface looks like by clicking on the View button. This will give us a preview of our Smart Builder wizard. As you can see, any of the fields that we flagged as required when designing our user interface are enforced in the wizard. and our reusable snippet picker controls will present the users with a list of reusable snippets that they can select to insert inside of their documents. So let's go ahead and cancel out of this preview and let's go ahead and let's create some actions for the Smart Builder. Now these actions will be executed when the user has completed filling out the information in the wizard and they click on the finish button. So we have all sorts of actions that we can add to our Smart Builder. One of the most common actions will be updating the value of a reusable variable inside of your Smart Docs document based on some of the information that your user has supplied. So let's go ahead and add a series of actions to update some of the reusable variables in this document. So here we are telling Smart Docs to update the value of the proposal client name full reusable variable with the value that was entered in the client name field inside of the Smart Builder. So now, when the Smart Builder executes, each of these Smart Docs reusable variables will be updated with the value supplied by the user in the Smart Builder wizard. Now let's add a couple more actions that will insert reusable snippets inside of our document. These actions will tell Smart Docs to insert the reusable snippets that were selected by the user in the wizard into the current document. Now that we have finished defining the user interface and the actions for our Smart Builder, 
we can click on the Save button to save our Smart Builder, and we can save and close out of our Microsoft Word template. Now let's take a look at what happens when we create a new Word document off of this Word template. When I double click on our sales proposal template, you will see a new Microsoft Word document is opened and our Smart Builder wizard is automatically launched for the user. The user can then walk through the wizard and fill out the required information and the Smart Builder will automatically start to assemble the document for the user. You can see in our client references page, the user is presented with a list of client reference snippets from our SmartDocs repository. The user can choose which reusable snippets they want in their document and the order they would like them to appear in. Likewise, the user is also presented with a list of staff profile snippets that they can choose to insert into their document. Once the user has filled out all the information in the Smart Builder, the user can click on the Finish button and the Smart Builder will execute the actions and automatically assemble the document. The success message indicates the Smart Builder successfully executed. And if we take a look at the cover page of our sales proposal, we can see that the information that we supplied in the Smart Builder Wizard was automatically populated inside of our document, such as the name of the client, the name of the sales proposal, the proposal ID, and the recipient information. If we scroll down to the client reference and staff profile sections of this document, we can see that the state of California and state of Nebraska client references were automatically inserted inside of this document because they were selected inside of the Smart Builder. And the three staff profile snippets were also automatically inserted inside of this document because they too were selected inside of the Smart Builder. So as you can see, you can use Smart Builders to create very powerful Word templates to help your writers quickly assemble new documents. And you can be assured that these new documents are using the latest approved content from your reasonable content library. That concludes our brief overview of Smart Builders, a new feature coming in Smart Docs 2.1. If you would like to learn more about Smart Builders or Smart Docs 2.1, please don't hesitate to contact us.